Hello, reporting for first updates now. This is Dennis and this is team 19049. Uh, high five robotics. They currently hold the Romanian record of uh, 311 points and they are the th uh, third highest uh, OP OPR in, in Romania. Uh, I uh, can't wait to learn more about the ro robot on behind the boat. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Alex, I noticed that your robot, uh, uh, you chose a unique way to pick from the stacks. Can you tell me more about it? Yeah, sure. So uh, we tried picking up from the stacks with the claw, uh, but it was not working very well because the claw is very not consistent about the height. But we realized that uh, we can take from beneath the stack. And so we did this kind of hook system where we go between the two stacks and holding them with these bumpers, uh, we can take only the bottom two pixels and insert them in the claw. So like if the pixel is here, the claw can take it. Uh, now let's talk about that uh, awesome end game. I noticed, uh, I think you have the highest uh, end, ga end game in Romania. You think, I think you hit the first, um, you get, get the 30 points for the plane uh, in every match. How did you achieve this? Uh, uh, so our airplane launcher is very simple. This is the main key. It's just a servo holding back a rubber band and the airplane gets inserted in the extrusion like this. The extrusion, because the airplane is a bit thick, uh, the extrusion holds it so it doesn't get knocked down. And then the rubber bands, when it, get, it gets released, uh, the drone flies out. And to make it very consistent, we knew that the rubber band would not be consistent enough on its own. So we, did, we added this screw here, which allows us to tension the rubber band close enough so that the drone is consistently in zone one. Yeah, and I noticed that uh, your drone has a, a very strange shape. shape. Can you say more about it? Uh, yes, the drone is uh, folded like this. The, the nose is folded back, so when it gets no, when it gets on the ground, it doesn't uh, deform very much. And this also helps with the center of mass because the center is very uh, forward, so that the drone gets like a downward trajectory and it hits the ground and bounces a little bit backward. Okay, now let's talk about your autonomous period and your sensors. How did you get, how did you make it so consistent? Because uh, you, you hit at least, uh, uh, you put at least uh, three pixels on the board uh, every match. Uh, yeah, so for that the main thing we use is uh, the special thing actually is our camera. Uh, we use this uh, C920 uh, Logitech camera because it has a bigger FOV than uh, regular cameras used. And uh, with that we can read all of the April tags that are located on the backdrop. And uh, with the help of them we can uh, um, align ourselves on them. And uh, by doing that we basically uh, mitigate any error that we had before with our odometry system. So that helps the consistency a lot. As for uh, sensors, uh, we have uh, the main sensors that we use are uh, two color sensors that are located in the claw. Uh, with those, uh, during the teleop period, um, when uh, we sense, when the sensors uh, sense that the uh, pixel can be grabbed, uh, they automatically close the claw and send a vibrating uh, sim signal to the uh, driver controllers. Oh, uh, okay, now I want I, I want to talk about the fact that you don't use an active intake. Did you did you uh, did, before choosing uh, this intake? Did why did it make you ch uh, choose this intake instead of an active one, like most teams this season? So we did test with an active intake, but uh, we didn't get it very consistent. Um, it was really bad at picking up pixels from the floor. It was quite okay at picking them from the stack, but uh, the main thing was on the floor. Uh, so we opted for a passive claw, 
uh, this way we can have more precision when we pick and uh, also count the is count more easily the pixels and it, uh, there's no chance we get the third one stuck somewhere in the transfer or intake part uh, now uh, uh, can you tell me about your plans uh, in the future if you can, can reveal that uh, uh, it's not something uh, so important uh, yes for now we the next upgrade that we want to do is to change the motors because we have the 300 rpms and we want to get 400 or something better because right now our cycle time is stuck at one cycle because of the speed and uh, we need more more speed to do this and also we want to try to get some way to also pick up two pixels from a single stack we haven't figured that out yet but that's our goal Okay, thank you. I was Dennis and this, this was Team Y9049. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gd forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.